A highlight of the 70s era Estes catalogs was the Cinerock, an 8mm movie camera that was designed to bring back footage of a complete rocket flight. This was a remarkably simple yet ingenious device. It was designed by Mike Dorfler at Estes, and it first appeared in the 1970 Estes catalog. Estes also offered a special two-stage booster for the Cinerock called the Omega, and they also offered special preloaded film cassettes and processing services for the film. Perhaps the most enthusiastic practitioner of the art of Cinerock flying was Herb Dessend, who flew the camera so often that he eventually gained the nickname Mr. Cinerock. Herb also taught science at a junior high school in Maryland, and it was there that he had his greatest impact. He introduced many, many young people to the hobby in the process of helping them get a solid education. Herb was also an avid collector of practically anything related to space exploration, and following his very untimely death of cancer in 1994, this collection was donated to the National Air and Space Museum, where it's available to researchers today. This bit of film comes to us via Richard Fox, and it features coverage of several bees being lofted in a special clear payload compartment while being filmed by a Cinerock camera. You can clearly see the point where the rocket decelerates at burnout and a couple of the bees go out of camera view. I find it remarkable how the bees stay on task and keep working on that little bit of honeycomb that's been left inside the payload compartment. Our next selection of footage comes to us courtesy of Jeff Lane, 
who is a more recent convert to the art of Cinerock flying. Jeff unearthed and restored an old Cinerock camera and even had to develop techniques to load the film cassettes as, as to discontinue them years ago. As you can see here, Jeff's results are clearly spectacular. Our final bit of Cinerock-themed footage comes from Royce Frankham, who's a member of the Dallas Area Rocketry Society. Royce wanted to experiment with aerial cameras, but rather than go through the trouble of locating Cinerock, refurbishing it, loading it, Royce chose to use a small pen cam or digital camcorder. In addition to being much simpler, lighter, and easier to use, this approach generally gets much better footage and also has the added benefit in most cases of adding sound to the film. It's interesting to note here how Royce has chosen to set up his camera with a mirror to produce the aft facing image just like the venerable old Cinerock camera.